In this episode, we are going to look at Shexel Training Matrix. So Shexel Training Matrix is a unique template for scheduling training needs of workers within the organization and implementing those training to ensure that they meet the requirement of your health and safety management system. So basically, we're going to be looking at how we schedule training for workers, how we implement a system for follow-up and closing those training, and then a system of reporting the training performance within the organization. And again, this training performance is an indication of the competence of the workforce. So my name is Sel. I'm the founder of Shexel, the dedicated platform where we provide precious solutions to support safety professionals from around the world we have a total of about 80 templates plug and play template which simply means you input your data and the rest of the reporting is done for you automatically we do also perform customization service for those of you who want to adapt our template to your specific need but our template are such that you almost not need to carry out customization all right so i'm going to be heading straight onto our screen and that is it right there our training matrix all right so the purpose of our training matrix is basically to enable you to demonstrate how you are actually training your workers within your organization as required by your management system as required by your client requirements or by the statutory requirement all right so we have like most of our templates you have the approved list for setting your parameters there is the database where you're going to be inputting data there is a dashboard board and there are various reports that you can utilize within you know the workbook for internal communication all right so that's pretty much what our template are all about so the approved list right here is where we can actually set our parameters which is our list of training programs so we're going to provide a long list of training programs this template has actually been designed for up to 100 training programs all right so we have the training programs we have the frequency for training some training require you know retraining over a given period of time like after every two years or every year or something and then again those training programs may fit under a specific category it could be mandatory training requirements it could be job requirements it could be emergency requirements it could even be like a um, client requirements statutory requirements and all of that all right so you can actually provide all these details right there now we have a frequency table that we use to actually set the frequency in terms of number of days for retraining all right so monthly is every 30 days bi-monthly is every 60 days quarterly is every 90 days twice daily is 180 days all right so you can actually keep adding on but we've pretty much exhausted the entire you know frequency basically and we have the training classification so you have the ability to actually make the changes to fit into your workplace scenario and we have the list of departments you have to provide a list of departments so like i said the approved list is where we set our own parameters these parameters are what we're going to be using in the database all right now the next sheet right here is the qualification matrix now qualification matrix is basically looking at each job position what kind of training is needed so basically that is determined after competence needs assessment and competence needs assessment can be done on job positions not based on the employee but based on the job position the role the employee is playing or the position the employee is occupying will have specific training programs that they're supposed to take all right so basically we are looking at the list of training programs which will populate right here because as we populate those lists of training programs they get populated here automatically and you would have to now select from the drop down list the job position now take note that the job position list is here there's a list of job position that you must update first before you begin to select from the drop down list because the source of the drop down list right here is actually coming from this section so as you can see the g right that is exactly what you're going to be seeing in there that's a g okay so um if you're populating this section just take note of the fact that there is a filter and there is a drop down list all right filter is just the header header filter basically using it to filter the content within this the column but that's not what you're selecting you're selecting the job positions from the drop down list so when you click on the cell just click on the next arrow that pops up and then you can select from the drop down list all right so what this section is seeking to do is the fact that each job position will have a specific training it has to take so if the training is, is needed you're going to indicate by x and it goes on and on like that so this is just to demonstrate to stakeholders it could be auditors it could be a client to find out that have you done training needs assessment for your workers this is the results of training needs assessment and you just want to use that to demonstrate a documentary evidence that each job position we know the training that they're supposed to take and this is what we use to demonstrate that all right now the next is based on the employee database now we are looking at populating the training that each employee is supposed to take. So we have a database of our workforce and this sheet actually can accommodate up to 400 workers, all right? So we are going to be populating all our employees' data here, like the full name, their employee ID, the department, the job title, the line manager if needed, the project they are on if needed, 
and then um, basically this section is going to populate automatically all right now this as i earlier mentioned is the main database so basically we have each of these cells these are merged cells each of these cells we are using it to plan training so each employee would we will have to determine if they have to take a defensive driving training all right so for you to select the training just click the cell and select from the drop down list now this drop down list take note is always coming from the approval list so whatever you populate all the way here you're able to select it from this drop down list right now once you select the drop down list this will automatically populate that's the frequency and then the classification is going to populate automatically and then if the training is needed by this employee indicate by one and if training has been done indicate by one and you provide a duration for training in minutes the date of the training and the next training date will be determined automatically as per the frequency that has been set and then again the days is going to be tracked automatically so from our report we can see that this training has actually expired all right because we are in 2024 and the next training date is actually 1st January 2023. So we are supposed to be actually be doing retraining, right? Now, this sheet is, as we earlier mentioned, is for planning by indicating one and if training has been done or if training is not needed, we, we leave it blank. If training has been done, indicate by one and all of that. And it's going to be tracking. So we can actually do this for a lot of training topics all the way to about 100 training topics. As we have mentioned, this template is designed for 100 training topics. So that is pretty much it now. The next sheet is a training summary table. The summary table that is giving the status of training for each employee as per the program. Whether the training has expired, whether the training is valid, whether the training is expiring soon, or the person does not have to do the training. So if I come back to the matrix, we will, we will notice that all of them are showing red, simply implying that the training have expired. Now let's try to do retraining. If you do retraining, what it means is that this person has done the training and it could be a different duration, but the training date has now changed to a current date. All right. So I mean we did a retraining in 2024. So that's exactly what you're going to be seeing right there, as you can see. Okay. So 2024, 1st January, there was a training program that was carried out for this person and the next training date is determined automatically so we have how many days more to go 634 more days because the, the frequency is too yearly right if you come to the training summary and look here you notice that now this has been changed to valid because we are within the valid days as you can see right now let's look at an instance where training is expiring soon so assuming um the training this training was done maybe 2022 may so as you can see we have 28 days more to go for this training to expire and we come to the training summary notice that it's going to show as expiring soon that's how interesting this template is okay now let's assume that this person is not supposed to do the training at all he was not supposed to be doing this training so we need to get rid of all this entry what this means is that when you go onto the training summary you're going to see that it's blank simply implying that the training is not needed for this person right now let's assume the person has done the training I mean, has been determined for the training. Training has been planned for him, but it hasn't been executed. When we come here, it's going to show that the person has not been trained. So that is how dynamic this training summary is. And it helps us to actually visualize at the same time, have a summary of the outcome here without having to scan through the entire matrix. All right. So that is how interesting this template is. And of course, we can actually narrow down the reporting to whichever training topic we want to focus on so you can actually focus on just defensive driving training and a number of training however you deem fit but you can actually go in a chronological order where you look at defensive and all the content within the database in a chronological order all right so that is what this summary table is all about now we have a dashboard that gives a perspective of the training performance of the organization all right so we have a total of 10 employees on the database we can confirm from here that's how many one two that is 10 employees on the database and then we have 15 training topics that we've planned now these 15 topics are these ones one two three four all right it goes all the way you know to a certain section here just this section right so we have 15 training topics now how many planning has been done as far as you know the training is concerned so the number of times we've indicated one simply means that we've planned training and the number of times we've closed the training by indicating one simply implies that we have completed the training so it is looking at the plan against the completed and it's giving us a score of 93 percent so that is exactly what this template is seeking to do and we can actually look at the training performance for each employee and for the training program so across board each employee you have the performance right here that how many training was was he planned to do and how many has he completed 
So he was planned for, let's see, 15 training and he completed all 15. That gives him a 100% training score. And some may actually not have done this. So then the percentage training performance actually reduces, right, for some people. Now, we can also look at the, the training program itself. How many training was planned? How many has been executed? So that also gives a percentage score, all right? So we can look at horizontal and vertical analysis across the board. So this is specific for training programs. They want to make sure everybody has done the training as planned. And then again, this is specific for in each individual's training planning, all right? Each person has been able to achieve a particular score as per what has been planned for them to complete all right now this gives a percentage score of what has been achieved what is outstanding what has been achieved what is outstanding all right now if you should run all of this up it's going to be equal so the training percentage score is literally going to be almost the same but we looked at in terms of workers in terms of training programs all right and the score is 93 percent so that's exciting how this dashboard is at the end of the day we are looking to achieve 100 percent training score okay and this is very good to demonstrate how you are tracking your training how you are you know improving training performance how you are improving employee competence within the organization okay so this other dashboard is basically this one just that will give you two color variations for those of you who prefer you know one to the other you can hide the other all right so these are all the individual reports that we use for the dashboard and as we mentioned you can actually use some of these reports internally to communicate to stakeholders okay we have another last section which is the monthly training hours the monthly training hours is basically the fact that we have been able to look at training duration for each of the training topics and we're looking at the time frame so some are in january some are in 20 different time frames different years so what we are looking to do is that if you're able to select the right time frame like january all the way to december within the, a specific year we are going to extract the hours as per the date right from january to december it's going to give us a total hours of training so we can actually look at um 2022 all the way to you know december 2022 and it goes on like that so that is pretty much so it's going to just arrange the dates in a, in a manner that makes it easy for, for reporting and estimating the total hours basically spent now the drop down list for this duration this date are actually coming from here so you have to set your own time frame as per the range for your dates all right so if your date start from 2021 up to 2024 you just want to make sure that whatever range that is relevant to you you may want to set the range right here so i can actually select from but this table is actually set for reporting only one specific year so you cannot report 2021 2022 2023 or whatever depending on the the data that you have okay so that is how interesting this template is very very simple to use now if you want to use this template all you need to just get rid of this data because it's a uh, parameters right set your own parameters you may probably not have to change this you may probably have to review this and make sure that it's specific to your training classification and set your list of departments then head over to qualification matrix this will populate automatically just set your specific job positions and all is coming from here so just make sure that you update here first so you can actually select from the drop down list to update and then you can do your qualification matrix and then again your training matrix make sure that you update your data now i don't have the time to actually delete the database but just take note that every time you would make changes all you need to do is just head over to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all and a refresher is going to update the report so that is exactly what this template is and i believe that you find it very very insightful and interesting now if you're interested in this template all you need to do is just head over to our website www.shexel.com scroll all the way to the middle you find our list of templates right here in the middle and then locate the training matrix all right so the training matrix is right there shexel training matrix click on it it will bring you to the product page and you're gonna see the pictures exactly what you saw in the video and all these details for you to understand and appreciate the content on the site and click on the download file and that's going to bring you to this page where you can actually check out okay so now once you check out that three ways you're going to download the file it's going to be available to you to download instantly on the front end of the site right because you'll be directed to a purchase confirmation page again the email address that you'll be using to check out a copy of the file is going to be sent to you in a purchase receipt for you to download and then again if you have a user account which is created for you automatically so you need to check if you're downloading for the first time password reset link will be sent to you for you to set your password for you to be able to log into your account and you're going to find a file stored permanently there for you mm -hmm.